hello friends uh, welcome to my session of research methodology today we are going to see unit 2 about the interpretation and report writing in previous few session we have discussed about research problem and research plan and today we are going to see about the interpretation what is interpretation and how it is helpful for report writing that today we are going to see before proceeding to the actual interpretation let us understand what is the significance of interpretation dear students after collecting and analyzing the data the researcher has to accomplish the task of drawing the inferences because once you have been uh, defined the problem you will collect the data you will analyze it that data analysis will be done by the various method which we have already discussed in the primary and secondary data analysis so the researcher when he has accomplished any kind of a work or research work he must report his findings without any flaws and inadequacies so that is the reason why whenever a researcher has completed the task it is only through the interpretation that researcher can expose his relations findings process that underline his findings so that is the reason why whenever interpretation comes the researcher can expose the relation and processes that underlining his findings so basically interpretation is a way of communicating his finding to the world so whenever you will have a good method of interpretation whatever researcher has done that could be communicated to the other people by means of the interpretation so whatever the research work you have done how good you have done that is not important but how you have interpreted it correctly that is very important in the research process so students whenever interpretation we can able to see interpretation refers to the task of drawing the inferences from the collected facts after an analytical and experimental study so interpretation refers to the task of drawing inferences from the whatever data he has been collected whatever analysis he has done and what are the experimental studies he has gone through so that is the way that interpretation could be mean for the researcher so the task of interpretation basically has two major aspect the first thing is that the efforts to establish continuity of the research which links the result and the given study because suppose he has taken up a certain kind of chemical reaction what will be the product form that is what the result is right so whenever we are going to talk about the interpretation you must talk about the result and how that result has been presented second aspect is the establishment of some explanatory concepts it means that after drawing the result what is mean to be and how that result will affects on that particular problem or whether it is going to give the solution for it or what the aspect has been studied that could be attainable with the help of interpretation so interpretation is a way that researcher could communicate that what exactly result he has obtained and how its relationship could be done so this interpretation is the device through which the factors that seem to be explained what has been observed by researcher in the course of the study which can be a better understood and it also provides the theoretical conception out of it which is serve as a guide for further researcher too so how good you have interpreted that will be serve as a guide for the other researchers that is the reason why interpretation is the device through which the uh, actual observed values by the researcher could be explained in a better manner so why interpretation the another question come up why interpretation is essential so interpretation is essential due to the following reasons the first reason is that it is through the interpretation that the researcher can well understand the abstract principle what exactly the work which has been carried out by the researcher so interpretation will well explain about the actual abstract and the principle of the work fresh inquiries can also be tested prediction can be made uh, by means of the interpretation this way that the continuity of the research can be maintained so that is the reason why interpretation is very very essential for the research work and the researcher in order to make the result readable and will understand by the other people so interpretation leads to the establishment of explanatory concept 
interpretation also serve guide for the other research studies researcher can better appreciate only through interpretation how you did the work but before that how you have presented it that is very important and your presentation will be mean to be in the interpretation so in explanatory uh, exploratory studies interpretation is technically described as a post factum interpretation where uh, you have explored with the different observations different exploratory research work and what that research work is actually able to tell you technically that could be described in a post factum interpretation so the techniques after that which we have to followed that are listed further so here students we have studied about what inter what is interpretation why interpretation is necessary because interpretation will give the reproducibility of the research work for that particular researcher that is the reason why the interpretation is important in the research process so techniques which is to be followed what techniques has to be followed the technique of interpretation often involves the following step what are the steps uh, we need to follow or the researcher has to be follow researcher must give reasonable explanations of the relation which he has found and he must interpret in the line of relationship as i told you in uh, one of my session that there are certain variables which control each other so and in that Uh, variables there also establishes one relationship one control the other and that's why the things are proceeded right so researcher must give reasonable explanation about certain kind of variables relationship between the variables how that relationship has been found out and how you can interpret that line of relationship that are the main important technique you have to follow second thing extraneous information extraneous means what extraneous which has been affected or influence so extraneous information if collected during the study it must be considered while interpreting the final result of research study extraneous information means something which is externally going to be affect or not get affected by if it so you should report it you should report it very frankly and that could be that could be come up in the interpretation it is advisable that before embarking upon the final interpretation to consult someone uh, you have to go through that uh, the researcher must accomplish the task of interpretation only after considering all relevant factors unless and until you have done a half research you could not interpret so you have to study all the parameters you have to consider all the factors that affecting on the research problem then and then you can conclude it in the interpretation so false generalization could be avoided with the help of this and that is the reason why the the researcher should consider all the factors affecting on the research problem that is one of the technique of interpretation so he must be not in a hurry to interpret the result why because the uh, interpretation which is reported in hurry may cause may cause certain flaws or may embark some problems uh, which has been unsolved in the research work so that is the reason why the researcher must not be in a hurry while doing the uh, interpretation or interpreting uh, him or her result as such so in the techniques of interpretation the best technique of research uh, best technique of interpretation i could say that the researcher must interpret all the results very frankly second thing it should be advisable that the final interpretation should be done by consultation of the guide the research must be accomplished by considering all the relevant factors and interpretation must not be done in a hurry these are the actual technique the researcher has to be followed so Uh, while techniques we consider there are certain precautions too which has to be taken by the researcher so what are the precautions which could be uh, taken the researcher must pay attention for following points that uh, the researcher must satisfy himself first because he only did the research so the data should be appropriate trustworthy adequate for drawing the inferences it doesn't mean that you have conducted only one experiment and you have concluded that this is the positive result or this is the negative result no you have to take that action in a 
in a many manner i mean to say that even in the science and technology we take one experiment one test in triplicates so the data are appropriate trustworthy and adequate for drawing the inferences the data reflect a good homogeneity and that proper analysis has been done through the statistical method so these are the certain precautions every researcher has to be taken the data are appropriate the data should be trustworthy the data should be adequate and also the data reflect homogeneity it should not be up and downs in that the proper analysis has to be done error should not be arise in the particular interpretation how errors can be arises yes errors can be arises due to the false generalization or wrong interpretation so that's why we have to take care of it in fact the positive test results accepting the hypothesis must be interpreted being accord with the hypothesis so that's why the researcher must remain vigilant about the errors and should not report the half data or partial data while the interpretation whatever result you have taken or you have get it should be uh, statistically analyzed and after analysis make some conclusion and report that conclusion that is the best method of interpretation so the researcher must always keep in a view that what are the tasks to be interpreted what should be analyzed and it should be distinctly separated okay so whenever uh, the researcher is going to interpret something the in the interpretation should be very much an intervened with analysis it should not like that you have adopted certain technique certain method and result come out is certain different so analysis and interpretation should be go hand in hand so it cannot be a distinctly separated so precaution should be taken that it it should be observed that when going through the process of analysis precaution concerning to the reliability of data computational uh, checks validation and comparison of results should be done so researcher must identify and disengage the factors that are initially hidden in the eye broad generalization of the topic and uh, coverage of your uh, entire subject it should be restricted to the particular time such a restriction if any then invariably uh, specify the result which must be framed within their limits so researcher must identify all the factors which are actually uh, affecting on the interpretation so broad generalization should be there and uh, when you have certain restrictions uh, the specification should be given and that result has been reported separately so researcher must keep in a view that the task of interpretation and that will be uh, very as i already told you it should be distinctly separated so uh, errors should be uh, avoided precautions should be taken in that manner so this is the way we have studied about the precautions about the um, more exactly the researcher must remember about how the uh, research work could be interpreted so uh, exactly whatever the area of interaction between theoretical and empirical observation the researcher should make the creativity in that and he must pay a special attention to that aspect thank you so much